Good morning, grade nine. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we will continue discussing reported speech. It is found in your student book, page 98. Okay. <clears throat> we talked about that. Uh, we talked, we said that reported speech can be used to report uh, sentences that others uh, said to you. And we said that in most cases, uh, tenses change in reported speech as well as time expression uh, also change in reported speech. We said that we can use two verbs in a reported speech uh, such as said or told and we said that after said we don't need to have a direct object uh, but after told we need to have a direct object such as her, us, him, uh, <coughs> and them. For example, they told me that the weather was cold. She said the weather was cold. After said here, we don't have an object, whereas after told, there is an object. And we also said that, if you remember, that changing from direct speech to reported speech, we change present. If the sentence is present simple, we change it to past simple. If it's in present continuous, we change it to past continuous. If it's in present perfect to past perfect, well, we change it to would, may, to might, must, to, had to. And in exercise three, we did it together. We changed the time as well. For example. Today, we change it to that day. Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow, we change it to the uh, following day. This night, we change it to that night. Um, uh, what else? We also said, for example, this week, we change it to that week or the previous week. Now, let's take some examples and how do we change them? First of all, we want to change from present simple to past simple. Look at this sentence. This sentence is in the present simple. We go to school every day. We go to school every day. Now, we need to change it into past simple. So what do we need to change here? We need to change the subject pronoun and we need to change the time. We change it to past simple. We say the students... Who is the speaker here? The students. The students said to me, for example, or the students told me that they went, simple past, to school every day. So go, we change it into went, and we, we change it into they because the speaker is the students. Let's look at another sentence. She doesn't speak French. She doesn't speak French. Okay, how do you know that this is present simple? We have the auxiliary verb doesn't. We don't say, for example, didn't. Now, if you want to change it to past simple, what do you change? You change doesn't to didn't. She told me that she didn't speak French. She didn't speak French. Okay, now, if the tense is in present continuous, we change it into past continuous. But let's Remember, what is the rule of present simple, a uh, present continuous subject plus is, are, am, plus verb with I, N, G. Okay. Now, I want to change it into past continuous. Past continuous rule is subject plus was or where plus verb with I, N, G. Okay, is, are, am, was, and where. <clears throat> okay, number one. I'm doing my homework now. I'm doing my homework now. As you can see, subject I, تاخد am, and then the verb with ing, do, doing my homework now. Now, in the exam or in any uh, exercise, we give you the speaker, Asim. Asim is the speaker here. So, how do we change it? Asim said that. 
I, we change it to he because the speaker is awesome. Okay, he, we change it takes was. He was and then verb ing doing. Now my, we change it into his. Okay, the mulkiya. His homework and we change now to then. We change now to then again. <clears throat> I am doing my homework now. Basically, you need to change all the sentence. You change the subject. Okay. You change the present continuous to past continuous. You change the pronoun here to his. And you change the time from now to then. So, Asim said, the speaker, that he, instead of I, we change it into he. Am, we change it into was, لأنه هي بتاخد was, verb with ing, doing, and my, هو حكا my homework, فبتالي أنا بدي أحكي his homework, now we change it into then. <coughs> we are working this week, we are working this week. Now who is the speaker here? The doctors, the doctors. The doctor said that we, we change it into they because it refers to the doctors. That they, instead of are, we change it into were, working, this week we change it into that week. Again, we are working this week. This doctors is the speaker. The doctor said that instead of we, we change it to they, home, they, and are, we change it into where, and this week, we change it into that week. The doctor said that they were working that week. Okay, now let's uh, go to another tense, which is the present perfect. What is the rule of the present perfect? Subject plus has, have, plus verb, three past participle. Eat, ate, eaten. Okay, this is verb three, eaten. So the present perfect, we change it into past perfect. What is the rule of past perfect? Subject plus had plus verb three, past participle. Okay, she has seen this movie. She has seen this movie. Sarah said that. She, we change has into had, and verb three seen, so Sarah said that she had seen, and this, we change it into that movie. Sarah said that she had seen that movie. Has seen, but had seen. <clears throat> I have bought a new car. I have bought a new car. Who is the speaker here? The speaker is Sammy. So I, we change it into he. Sammy said that he, and we change has, sorry, we change have into had. That he had, according to the rule, had the verb three, that he had bought a new car. Sammy said that he had bought a new car. Okay. Now, if you change the past simple, you basically change it into past perfect. Past simple, we change it into past perfect. Past simple, okay, is subject plus verb two. Past perfect is subject plus had plus verb three. She slept early yesterday. She slept early yesterday. Sarah said that she had the adverb three. She had slept early. Type yesterday, we change it into the day before. Yesterday, we change it to the day before. Okay. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't leave my house last week. I didn't. Leave my house last week. Who said that? The teacher. The teacher said that I, Bitsir, she. 
hadn't left her house the previous week. صار عنا هنا كتير تغييرات. First of all, didn't we change it into hadn't. Okay. نفي مع الهاد فبتصير had not or hadn't. And verb three from leave is left. Left. Okay. Now my, we change it into her because it refers to the teacher, the female. Hadn't left her house. And last week, we change it to what? The previous week. The previous week. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> if you move to the future, well, we change it into would. Okay. For example, I will see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Now, who is the speaker here? Sami. Sami told Ali. Sami told Ali. Here, because we use told, we need to have an object. Sami told whom? Sami told Ali. That he, I, we change it into he. Okay. See, we, sorry. Well, we change it into would. See him. Now, tomorrow, we change it into the next day. The next day. Or the following day. It may rain tonight. It may rain tonight. Now, who said this quotation? The broadcast. The broadcast said that it may, we change it into might, and rain tonight, we change it into that night. That night. It's direct and straight to the point. We can change the future. We can change the future. Now, who said this sentence? The president. The president. So, the president said that we, we change it into they, could change the future. Can, we change it into could and change the future. I think he is talking about himself and the government and the people. We must stop moving. We must stop moving. Now, <clears throat> the police officer said, uh, must, we change it into had to, had to. So, the police officer said that we, we change it into they, they must had to stop moving, had to stop moving. Okay. <clears throat> 